This is a busy week, by the way, for the Supreme Court. I think, uh, I think all their work highlights the leadership failures of our current president. You see, when he, when he was running for office, he said he would make it his first priority and his first year agenda to reform our immigration system and make it work for the American people and for those that want to come here legally. He did not do that. Why is it? He had a Democrat House, Democrat Senate, all the support he needed. He did nothing. Why did he fail to do that? And so the Supreme Court had to step in because states had to step in. States looking to find a way to solve the problems he didn't address, tried to address it in their own ways, and now the Supreme Court's looked at it, and what we're left with is a, is a bit of a muddle. But what we know is the president failed to lead. He failed to do what he said he'd do. And, and so instead of focusing on immigration and, of course, on the big issue, which was the economy and getting the economy going, he instead focused on putting in place his health care reform called Obamacare. <laughs> now, as you know, the, uh, <laughs> as you know the, the Supreme Court is going to be dealing with whether or not Obamacare is constitutional. If it's not, if Obamacare is not deemed constitutional, then the first three and a half years of this president's term will have been wasted on something that has not helped the American people. If it's not, if it, if it is deemed to stand, then I'll tell you one thing, we're going to have to have a president, and I'm that one that's going to get rid of Obamacare, we're going to stop it on day one.